Hey there, all of my Leo people out there, sun, moon, and rising. It's time to have a look and see just what is going on when it comes to your monthly astrological forecast for November 2024. And just a quick reminder, if you ever want to get a personal reading with me, you just need to go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com, or you can follow the links in the down bar below. And don't forget your weekly astrological updates as well. So what's going on when it comes to this November for you? This November is kind of cool as far as I'm concerned because you can actually divide it almost into two stories or two arcs that are happening one after the other. And that's how we're going to be going over this forecast. The first half and the second half are so different, makes it very easy to keep in mind and very easy to keep track of. Now, as we go through the first half of the month, we start November with the sun in Scorpio and a new moon in Scorpio. And this is spelling a lot of really important and advantageous transformations going on on the home and family front for you. This is spelling a lot of really good uh, opportunities for maybe a new beginning, a new environmental shift, maybe even some kind of new boost in household income or a move for whoever is looking to really capitalize on this push. This is also a time where you may notice that a lot of your closest connections, whether they are family members or people you consider family, are also becoming a lot more more close and involved in each other's lives in a very helpful and very sweet way. So make sure that, you know, if you're not used to having that kind of good interference in your life, you allow that to show up because this is about bringing in new fun, new bonding, tightness, closeness, trust, but also, again, a lot of really special new beginnings. We've got Mars entering Leo in the very beginning of the month. This is your sign. And so with Mars in your sign for November, you are going to be in a really good way when it comes to being able to, to knock down and maybe even make up for lost time uh, situations that have been blocking or obstructing the accomplishment of any personal goals or personal projects or personal um, agendas that you have been wanting to accomplish to fix or you know finish for your own sake. Uh, when we have any kind of celestial body in our sign, there is more of a focus on our story, right? Irrespective of what could be going on with other people, uh, coworkers, family members, friends, partners, etc., and really kind of getting back to our life to be lived. Now, when Mars is in our sign, we get a lot of competitive advantages, especially when it comes to knocking down walls and opening roads for ourselves. And if you have been in a situation where you've maybe fallen behind yourself or out of touch with something that matters a great deal, this is a good November for you. We also have Mercury and Venus together in Sagittarius for the first half of the month, working hand in hand to bring a great deal more romance and a lot more enthusiasm to your personal life. Venus here is all about bringing in love, but also more time for affection to be shared in a way that is helping to maybe stimulate more creative activity as well as bring in in new spice to your personal life, whether this is uh, spicing up your relationship with your partner or you are single or available and you're looking to attract romantic opportunities that are ideal matches for you and your own goals. But this is also, with Mercury here, a wonderful period where a lot of you are getting a chance to also dive in and strengthen your social and intellectual rapport, not only with partners, but even with your own kids, as well as branch out and connect with collaborators and friends that are supportive for any creative or personal enterprises you're looking to to lift up. The second half of the month does take on, however, a bit more of a serious tone, but is also one that is still really good. We've got Venus entering Capricorn, which is kind of turning you into, uh, you know, into somebody who's having, a, you're a Leo who's going to have their 15 minutes of fame. We'll put it that way. Venus is in your reputation sector, the area that uh, basically rules how you are treated and received at, in, you know, in work communities and in personal communities. And so this is a time where a lot of you are getting raised up by other people, especially when it comes to being gifted favor and gifts that could put you in a place where you're 
getting a chance to rise above or rise out of maybe uh, what you have already outgrown, whether you know it or not. And this is also going to make for a beautiful period financially, kind of stacking on top of that Mars in Leo. There's a full moon in Taurus also taking place as we go into the second half of November. And this is pushing for a graduation in terms of stature and status for you. And whenever you have a full moon in your career zone, this is opening up an opportunity for you to maybe get in line for some kind of level up, promotion, or maybe role or job transition that is going to help to not only, yes, likely secure some kind of raise or change in title or responsibility, but also something that is going to give you a more prominent status and stature among your peers and co-workers. But you are going to have to be ready because you're going to have to show up for that one. But this is also going to be just a big theme of the second half of the month anyhow. And we also have Saturn and Pluto making some serious moves this month. Uh, Saturn is actually turning direct in Pisces, which is all about bringing order and discipline to what is disordered. And for you, this is going to be extremely helpful, especially when it comes to situations where you have maybe been having to share in the effects or the responsibilities or the decisions of other people. This can also be a time where any kind of situation where you have had to share by associations the benefits or the consequences of other cho other choices of, or maybe uh, actions of other people. Saturn is kind of bringing in new boundaries, bringing in new protection. But you want to be mindful as well because with Saturn here, there could also be some things that come up that you have procrastinated or things that you have been putting off or turning a blind eye to that are going to be calling your attention. And those who lean in and give it their attention, you're going to actually be in a good way. Pluto entering Aquarius is actually something that could be quite exciting for a lot of you because Pluto will be in your area of partnerships and closest one-on-one -on -one connections. And so this is going to bring a theme of overdue transitions, release, and destruction of binding influences. And so a lot of partnerships, close friendships, unions, and alliances that you're a part of are also getting pushed for some overdue graduations, as it seems, especially Especially when it comes to getting out of maybe situations or circumstances that have overstayed their relevance or are no longer actually supportive of those involved. Just keep in mind though, this can also be a time where sometimes some shocks or some shakes or some uh, big events can occur in order to precipitate those transitions, those graduations. And finally, we also have the Sun and Mercury turning retro. Well, the Mercury is going to be retrograde. The Sun never turns retrograde. But then we also have the Sun and Mercury retrograde in Sagittarius which is going to be helping you to get back something that was maybe lost as far as um, some kind of spark or some kind of dream or aspiration that you may have had for your love life or maybe even a relationship that you have or once had with one of your kids. Because with the sun, of course, there's always this focus on fun and games and peace and wholesome simplicity and recreation. But with Mercury retrograde, there is also this focus on retrieval and possibly getting to take a sweet trip down memory lane. And so this could be a dream revival or a dream restoration. But just keep in mind with Mercury retrograde, there could also be uh, some upsets or maybe some complications that come up as it works its magic. So that's what we've got for your astrology and November 2024 Leo. I hope you found this helpful. And if you did, don't forget my name is Nico, son of Celine. And should you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.